How's it going, everyone? Tim here, 2D Adventures. Hope everyone's all well out there. As always, thanks for tuning in. Much, much appreciated. So, what do we got going on today? We have another new product here from Three Brothers RC. We have some 2.2 anti foams. These just recently dropped to the site, and there are two different sizes available for 2.2s. Two there. So what we're going to be doing today is we're going to be putting them in the J-Concept Tusk tires that I just recently cut and shut. Now I think this size here overall is going to be just what I was looking for for a foam combination for the Tusk. And I have already got one in here and mounted up. And it's overall feel and everything. Um, I'm liking it a lot. The orange ring here, this is dual stage. This orange ring here has, has a nice stiffer feel to it. And the side hill and everything here, there is no roll here on that tire and sidewall, which is what my previous foam setup was lacking. Um, I was hindered a little bit on the side hill. I just had a little too much tire roll and this fills the whole tire up very, very nicely. And just this black outer edge there is just soft enough to give me that nice squish that I personally like um, how I set up my tires and foams. So I will be playing with these for a little bit, you know, taking them out, doing some runs, and then maybe experimenting with some tuning rods or some trimming, stuff like that, because that has been one of my favorite things with the anti-foams is their overall customization with the ability of adding tuning rods or even trimming out some of the 3D printed sections to get that feel that you prefer and is best suited for your rig. You know, you're not always having to swap out complete foams. You can sit there and mess with this foam and get it how you want it. Definitely excited to get these in here because like should be a much greater improvement in performance versus the foam combination that I had been previously running in my tires. I just had a lot of tire roll, so that really hindered all my side hill. Now vertical climbing and climbing up over things, yes, it was super grippy and squishy, so it would pull up things. But especially for class three, I need that side hill ability. And the side hill that you gain with the anti-foams has been one of my favorite features um, of them. So, so I'm going to go ahead and get these finished getting mounted up and get them installed and go take it out on the rocks.
Well, it was a cold, but I think still solid first run on the 2.2 antifoams. And it was cold. I think it was about high 20s, right around 30 degrees. And it was pretty wet. Went out Sunday to do our normal crawling, and it had rained almost all day Saturday and even snowed at times. But I was like, I, I still want to go out. I want to at least put them on the rocks. So I'll just carry it around if I need to so I don't go through some of the super thick mud and stuff like that because honestly, we just trailed more than anything. But overall, still being as cold as it was, and wet and you know not the best driving conditions the 22 foam still put in plenty of work and did really really well on some of the lines and gave me a good idea of what or if i needed to adjust anything there just my personal preference i always do like to run the anti-foam if i'm trying a new one in a new tire combination i put everything in just the way it is and i go run it see what it does and go from there so now we're back here on the bench doing a little bit of adjusting like i mentioned earlier in the video that's just one thing that i like about the anti-foam is its overall customization ability and you can do anything like I wanted to soften the front up a little bit just to see what all the feel is. So I'm able to kind of go in and then trim out some of the support here on the um, inner dual stage ring there. So just to soften it up just a little bit, I think it's going to work out really, really good. The rears, honestly, I did like the rears, but I took out just a little bit of support here and there in a weird pattern just to try and uh, see what it does, see if I like it or I don't like it. You know, the good thing is even though I'm cutting out the support, if I don't like it or I make it too soft, I can pull it back out and I can put some tuning rods in there and stiffen it right back up. So not a huge deal if I accidentally cut out too much support while I'm going through tuning it. And you know, and you can do more than just, you know, cut out the supports here. Like if for whatever reason, if you don't like the width, if it's too wide for your tire combination, stuff like that, you can trim along the outside here. You can trim it up. You can narrow the whole insert up if you needed. So again, just another reason I really like the anti-foams is just its overall customization ability. That way I can tune it to exactly how I want in my truck with my setups with the whole truck chassis where all my weight bias is, wheels, tires, I can tune the foam to my exact combination and my exact feel and liking. That's what we're doing. Like I mentioned, I'm going to play with these for a little bit, get a good feel for them, change up a little bit and go drive some more because, you know, that's just part of the build process and tuning is driving, tuning, adjusting stuff and, and continuing on until, you know, I get that exact feel and everything that I am looking for. So down below, I will link the Three Brothers website where you can find the 2.2 anti-foams. And again, there are two sizes. There is a smaller 2.2 anti-foam for like 5.4 tires or less and a taller anti-foam uh, for some of the more bigger full-size 2.2s. And I'm using the smaller 126 millimeter anti-foam. And honestly, like I said, I like the feel. And it fills the tire very, very well. And one thing I've just always liked about the anti-foams is its side hill capabilities. You know, I don't have tire roll. The sidewall doesn't give. The sidewall holds on my side hill and I'm not losing watching the tire crumple down and go from there. So always one of my major benefits when running anti-foam. Any questions, comments, anything like that, as always, put it down below. I'll do my best to get everything answered. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And until next time, everyone, have a great one. Crawl on.